Hey, Bobby Manning here with a practice edition of the Garden Report at our back center. Celtics wrapping up their final practice before game seven and a chance today to talk to Marcus Smart after some frankly unbelievable comments after uh, game six in Philadelphia where <laughs> he essentially said Joe Mazzulla has been under fire as head coach of the Celtics, and rightfully so. Here are those comments again in case you didn't hear them. I was proud to have him on the court, you know, and that just goes to show, you know, Joe's learning, um, just like all of us. You know, I know he's been killed a lot, um, rightfully so. You know, he, he needs to make some adjustments, and he's did that, and that's all you can ask for. Just continue to be the best he can be, and uh, it takes everybody. It's a full team effort. CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. Now, those came in response to a question about the Celtics switching to Robert Williams, which, in my mind, made me think this was a player-led decision. Missoula said that wasn't the case today when I asked him, and Smart did get a chance to elaborate on these comments, and I think they stem from a place where He's saying, this is on the players. It, it's our responsibility. We're the ones out there playing. We're the ones making decisions on the floor. And we're empowered to do that. That's what we want to do here with the Celtics. And they understand that Joe's learning and making mistakes. And uh, to Smart's credit, who I do love for his candidness, I think in those comments reflected that Missoula wasn't doing the best job. This, of course, comes off the game one where he said he should have gotten the Celtics into their place quicker to speed up the offense late in that game. Similar comments in that Atlanta series, and then of course the game four where Missoula didn't call timeout and admitted a mistake at the end of that game that leads us to this game seven tomorrow. The Celtics, I think, in some capacity, especially from a communication standpoint, but maybe to some degree tactically too, uh, took the team out of Missoula's hands uh, to some degree in that game. And Smart, I think, reflected that post game, but did get a chance to clarify those comments here today. Here's what he had to say. Rightfully so, in the matter of fact, where just like us, when we go out there and we don't play as a good game, or you know, we don't do things that you know um, we know we're capable of and um, we should be doing, we get held accountable. Um, Joe's not on the court, so he gets held accountable differently than we do, and that's, you know, um, with certain things that, you know, he might do or might not do. Um, but at the end of the day, it's his decision, you know. Um, if it works, we don't say nothing. If it doesn't, then obviously you have to look at it. But that's the, the point of taking the criticism um, and, and moving on, you know, being coachable, being able to learn, you know. Uh, the great players, the great, you know, coaches, they're able to learn, you know. Um, even, even, even if they make a mistake, they don't let it deter them. They keep going and they learn from it. So he doesn't back down from what he said necessarily. It wasn't a slip of the tongue. It wasn't just a vocal inflection saying rightfully so. I think there is a sense that Joe made some mistakes uh, over the early portion of the series and the players have to step up, help him get through it as he does them. Smart also in the conversation today talked about how they'll go to him with certain suggestions and vice versa and Missoula might accept them, might not, and he'll explain why. So the communication process, I think a lot uh, of what Smart's talking about there. And cl players clearly supported and loved the decision to go to Robert Williams. We'll talk about that again as one of the keys to the next game. And the final game between these two over at TD Garden tomorrow will be a 3.30 tip-off with the Lakers winning yesterday. Thrilled about that. Maybe Mother's Day impacts that to some degree. Uh, but I do think the strongest possible crowd will be present at 3.30 tomorrow. So uh, that's it for all the talk going into it. They're going to play tomorrow. I have a preview coming up here at our back center of uh, Game 7 between the Celtics and 76ers. Check that out on Celtics All Access and all the practice comments on CLNS Media.